everybody, how are you all doing today? Me from present time, clearly something's a little different. I haven't edited the vlog where this happens yet, but surprise and spoilers. I just wanted to introduce this little Nico uh, weekend trip because it's kind of out of context. I did film it a, a while back, probably end of summer, beginning of autumn, but a lot of things have happened since then. First of all, I wanted to edit this vlog properly because there's a lot of pretty colors and scenery and I've been really busy with school and with work. And secondly, the person I went on this trip with is no longer in my life. You probably will have guessed that already if you're following me on my Instagram stories. So it took me a while to get to this footage because I do want to edit it without feelings of bitterness and resentment because after all, it was a good memory, it was a good time. Even if things are what they are today, I want to honor that memory. Right, I think that's all the context that you need. End of summer, beginning of autumn, weekend trip to Nikko. Had a really good time, it's a magical place and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching, how are you all? Enjoy! <laughs> COVID reasons only one person can go take care of check-in so my friend is taking care of that while I'm patiently waiting there is so many people probably because it's a long weekend so Friday Saturday Sunday that people are taking some time off but today is Saturday like almost evening it's like past 3 p.m. at this point so uh, we're just staying one night here uh, probably gonna just stay in the area for the rest of the day because it was a long trip to get here like almost two hours i think and tomorrow we have check out like, like 10 a.m or something and where the weather should be better because it was raining for most of the morning the weather should be better tomorrow sunday so we're just gonna enjoy nature tomorrow i hope there's a way to go to the onsen i might not be able to because i'm covered in tattoos but this place does have onsen so that would be really awesome
I'm kind of whispering because my friend is in the bathroom and toilet <laughs> right now. It was really fun. It was fun. The like little light up thing, and then like there was like eight minute firework display, and then we had to run back to the bus. Uh, as you saw, like going there, it was really empty. But coming back, it was like almost Kalagoe. If you know, you know Kalagoe 2.0. <laughs> like everyone was trying to get on this bus so we barely got on luckily it was like only a four minute um, ride back to the hotel and now we're gonna chill and then um, because I can't go to sit the main onsen because I have many tattoos uh, we were able to reserve I think for 900 yen we were able to um, get for me the um private onsen so um the the big the big bath is like on the roof and everything it's like super fancy so i'm kind of disappointed i can't go to that but it was a kind of a kind of expected it but also like come on enough with the tattoo thing already but you know whatever at least i get to go to the private uh bath i'm kind of debating going to get like this is the first time i saw um a beer vending machine so there's a beer, beer vending machine in the hallway kind of considering going to get a beer but also like healthy mode it's gonna be my first experience um wearing a yukata so i'm kind of looking forward to that like after the after the bath and it's my first time well i've slept in a futon back at home in belgium like my mattress was literally a futon so i know what it feels like to sleep on the floor but i haven't done it since coming to Japan, so I'm looking at them right now at the end of the room like Yep, that's just a bed on the floor That looks interesting um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna feel exactly like the one I had back at home It's definitely gonna be interesting I've never had like the whole experience like the futon that they come and um, set up for you and on the floor, on the tatami floor It's pretty cool Anyway, um we have to get up pretty early tomorrow because actually, shit, he's finished in the bathroom. <laughs> we have breakfast early in the morning and then check out it's at 10 and then we have a full day ahead. So I'll see you tomorrow. So in the end, I actually took a shower, a bath in my room. And after I'm going to go to the private onsen change of plans, I just I just couldn't wait, I just felt filthy and I still had an hour to go so I just decided to to do it and um, this is the yukata I'm not sure it suits me, I think it, it gives me a really weird silhouette kind of I don't know, maybe I'm not wearing it correctly they said like the obi for the woman was on the on the waist and the men is on the hips so this is my waist but it feels low I don't know, I, did, I don't know if I did it right. It's the right length. Let me show you. Hang on. You have a full length mirror before my friend comes back. <laughs> Little steps. See, it's, it's the right length. So I took like a um, large, because I don't know if I showed you earlier. 
or by centimeters so i took this one like big size because i don't think i'll need this this long oh gosh walking in this is like you can't really make big steps it's really funny um <laughs> Uh, I don't know. This is like my first time wearing these. I'll ask my friend later, but maybe he'll just laugh at me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if it suits me. I, I can't tell. I don't know if I'm wearing the OB right. I definitely didn't do a very good job with the knot, but oh well. I'm gonna take it off when I go to the, the private bath anyway, so. Okay. Time to wait for, for my time for that. Uh, 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 I'm not convinced. <laughs> and also, like, I don't know, is this a normal arm length for a yukata? I don't know. Like, like I said, this is my first time wearing one ever, even though, like, it's just a, a bath robe style. Like, isn't, like, the collar supposed to pop off a little? Like, maybe I did it too tight? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know thing. I feel like this stupid foreigner trying to uh, like you know uh, weeaboo <laughs> but yeah anyway i do not know how i feel about these my feet look like aliens uh, pretty sure they're too small but i have big ass feet so um yeah no i i'm not sure uh, <laughs> Thank you. 